Hey, Summon All State family. Do you want to figure out the winning Mega Millions and Powerball Lotto? No oh, that's my personal to-do list. Um, we're actually uh, learning how to read a book without reading the book. Powerball numbers. What are hey, they? Do you know them? Personal business plan. What are I, they? I, I, I'm supposed to figure out the numbers. 43. Tonight. I haven't done it yet. That's 17. It. It's on my two Bingo. To list. I haven't Bingo. done it yet. There it is. All right. Well, welcome, how do you read everybody. a book? How do you read a book without reading a book? How does that work? How Let's find out. Read a book without reading the book. That's what we're going to do today. Nicole from the library here. And also, as usual, we have. Am I over here? Information Jason Librarian and Library Ross Martin! Yeah! Yeah, so we are Whoa. your Stanford Lake Mary Campus Librarians, also available online. Um, this is the show every Wednesday at 4 where we talk about library stuff. Um, stuff that is applicable to your entire academic journey. Some of you are currently enrolled students that need credit today, so welcome. And yes, we'll get your credit, okay? But you gotta sit here for the program, okay? And some that might be watching are fans from around the world, near and far, every continent, according to the YouTube analytics. So welcome to you. Uh, everybody is our Seminole State family if you're watching live or on the replay. So love y'all that are watching the replay. Okay, so let's get down to it. All right. Now, um, this is something that, uh, you know, we're like, this is something we do all the time. Um, if you are researching for a paper or a project, uh, sometimes you do need books or ebooks, but you can't really read the whole book, a whole book that could be useful to you a lot of the times, right? Because we have time constraints, right, Ross? I hear yeah, it, you're nodding your head. It, I mean, a lot of times it's just not very efficient to read a whole book to mm. write a three or five page paper. I mean, like, there's so much content in there that you wouldn't have enough to, you wouldn't be able to use it all anyway. Yeah. And so what we're going to do today, I have to edit, I made a mistake on this little banner, um, is that we are going to, um, I can't think, I can't do we're gonna two talk about once. a book. It's okay. We're going to talk about a book. We're going to see what the insides are, the outsides Strategies. are, the upsides down, the upside uh, across the board. Yeah. And we're going to read it without reading it. Sounds good. And if, we see if you're you excited, there. go ahead yeah. and pop up in the comments. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got right. this going on here. No okay. Thing. Okay. So, what See we decided you. to do, oh, Akaya, Akaya, sorry, yeah. pronunciation, Eric's here. There we go. All right. Okay, and drop yes. your name in the chat if you're watching. It looks like we have 10 billion viewers right now. 10 billion, that's yeah. a little low. It's a little low on the low side. Oh, 8 billion. Yeah. Oh, no, two <laughs> left? I, I shouted out. Okay. Did the internet go down in one of those small countries? <laughs> oh, what up? Okay, Um. so I have a physical book here. And now I have my camera on mirror mode, so it's reading is backwards, but you can no, tell. it's not. It's not? <laughs> no. It's frontwards. I see it. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> to me, it's mirror. I don't know how uh, technology <laughs> works, guys. Um, so Ross actually has the ebook of this book, and we're featuring this book, Getting to Yes, mm -hmm. because we have been assigned. Yes, librarians get assignments too, okay? When you grow up and have a job, yes. You still have to do homework, and our homework is to read this book for a meeting that we have I this got mine week. too. Yes, so we've been digging into it. I have a book that isn't the same as yours. <laughs> I failed. You know, I'm I'm that one. <laughs> My <laughs> okay. line's a little old here. <laughs> okay, so let's first, before even opening a book, let's talk about okay the cover. Usually on the cover, you can tell if like the graphics are like updated. You can tell something about the book. Um, it gives you, you say, they say, don't judge a book by its cover, but honestly, we get a vibe from the cover of a book. We can't help it. Okay. We're humans. Okay. Um, before you even open the book, you can also read a basic synopsis on the back. And this book in particular actually like itemized, like the main bullet points that the whole book kind of boils down to, which is helpful because now I know a real, a good arc of like the totality of what this book is about. And I know the talking points probably that are going to be expected in this meeting that's coming up that I need to read this book for. Okay. So that's where I'm going to go. Also, I have a few reviews on the back of this book, which you can find in a lot of books, even academic books. Okay. But Ross, you talked earlier about some other places that you can find book reviews. Um, 
that might help you learn about like what is a book about or kind of the vibe of it without actually well, sure it. i mean there's lots of book review sites out there like we were talking about goodreads earlier today and like there's all, all kinds of like you know aggregator sites like that um i use google books sometimes you know they'll have like previews of books or they they'll often have you know publisher reviews those kinds of things with them so yeah that's definitely a good source of getting to know what you're diving into yeah, definitely. Okay. Kirkus is another one. You can also find them uh, mm -hmm. probably on Amazon Books too. Anywhere you see sure. reviews, you, you or maybe go right to the publisher if you can find the publisher on the back. But yeah, we're talking about how to read a book and how to find the information. We're also maybe trying to build a citation. Everything is important on the book there, from the author to where it was published and so mm -hmm. on. So let's carry on through, and we're getting more people signing in on the chat. So make sure that you're uh, oh, wow. putting your name and putting your professor's name if you're getting credit for IDS eleven oh seven. Back to you, Nicole. <laughs> um. Thanks, Jason. I need to work on my news worker voice or whatever they call it. You can see the wheel spinning. You're like, do the voice. Don't have it right now? Okay. I'll work on it. All right. So um, if you're working with physical books, and I know from helping students, a lot of students like to get their hands on a physical book. So um, if you're working with a physical book, a few pages in, there's this page called the CIP page or the Copyright and Publication page. And um, Jason, do you, does your book have one? I do. I have one. A copyright okay. in a uh, blue ribbon book from 1970 something. Okay. Now I have some publication dates um, in this cataloging and print uh, or catalog CIP page. And actually what I'm seeing here, which actually started to really um, clue me in because I started to read this book before I read the book without reading the book. And I was like, what are they like? What are these weird examples? Well, it turns out this book was originally published in 1981. And I can see, yes, this book looks new and it was yeah. more recently republished as late as 2011. Okay. But I can see from this information that ultimately it's a book from 1981. So it kind of like starts to paint the picture and helps me feel, oh, that's why these examples seemed weird. So this is something that the track record of dates of republication and original publication can kind of give you an idea of actually how old the book is. Um, and also we have, we talk about this a lot on this channel. <laughs> I love the way that sounds. Um, subject headings. Okay. So the subject headings for this book, um, the first one is negotiation, getting to yes, negotiating agreement without giving in. You got and subject they, headings? Let me see. Go yeah. Ahead. Do you have any, and there's no. not a lot listed here. Um, so it doesn't tell me a lot more information about the subjects, but this is something I can definitely I'll look at do you have any no i was gonna say you bring up a good point because uh i know we kid around here but i'm being serious this book says 1941 blue ribbon books but it was copywritten by nell harris in 1930 but the library collection stamp from seminole state college which was seminole community college back in 1976 there's a bunch of different stamps but i think they started doing the subject headings uh a little later after 1976 mm -hmm. right ross it had to have been more modern than this so that's why yeah, i don't okay. have it in my mm -hmm. book Okay, so we see some different things, but once again, we're gathering some information. Now, um, getting some good recommendations here in the chat too, by the way. Oh. They're popping up. Keep dropping them in there. What's about like for real? Okay. For real? What's the last book you read? Like, drop a drop a title in there. We're getting some good this recommendations. Is, this is the last book I read. Yep. It's gonna be the last book I read. Be there the we go. Final <laughs> book I read. It's over. Close <laughs> okay. the end of the chapter. Close the um, book. So Ross has the ebook of this, of uh, Getting to Yes, mm -hmm. the book that we librarians have been assigned to read up. So uh, Ross is going to, I want to have him go ahead and put up his screen share in a moment here. Another area where we can read about the book without reading the book and find out about it is the table of contents. So I think probably our viewers are familiar with the table of contents. And we got a couple other sections we'll talk about. And Braden, um, uh, Braden's talking about the, I last read Any Way the Wind Blows by Rainbow Roll and then something about the stamps. I love the stamps. It's so cool to see the oldest stamps and the graphics on the books. Oh. I look at like, the stamps about library books too. <laughs> right? I have my um, offices plastered in them. Yeah, yes. I think it's pretty cool. It's, can you yes. come across here? Ooh, yeah, I can see it. Okay. I love yeah. it. There it is. Yep. I love it. Okay. okay. Back to you, um, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang, I wish I was ready <laughs> you had it. There was another door open. It was another there we door. go. Um, so the table of contents. The table of contents lists basically everything that's in the book in like um like a heading format. So if you look at the table of contents, you can see uh kind of the scope, 
like the whole scope of what the book contains top to bottom it might tell you the table of contents might communicate to you that oh the Crimean War that I'm doing a paper on is literally like not even in the table of contents. So there's probably not that much information about it. I, I need a book. I want a book that's like about every single little nuanced detail of the Crimean War or whatever it may be. So that's one place. The table of contents is where you can find out kind of like the general idea of the book. It can give you uh, yeah. a, the scope for sure. It's the first thing I do when I pick up a book for research is I look at the table of contents just because you want to read strategically, right? I'm not going to read the whole book, so I want to find a starting point. Oh. Yeah, and we're, we're taking a look now. I think we're kind of shifting. If we're going to go over to Ross and look at the ebook, we got a question in the chat there. Give us your feedback and honest opinion. And it may change over the years and it may change on the variety, right? Well, I use book book because I don't know, what is this, a tangible, a touchable book as opposed to an ebook? But what do you like, a book book or an ebook? And then that depends. You're on vacation, maybe it's a, or a Kindle or a Amazon, whatever, Fire, whatever. But anyway, all right, so we're getting some answers. Okay. Back so to you, Ross, Ross or Nicole. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So Ross put up the, <laughs> the got, catalog. Uh, you like yucky, Nicole. You gotta get yucky at the voice. You're much better at it. I said that's why you've been having a dream about being on the radio because you know I you was, gotta do the today. Last night, I know. Okay. Um, so Ross is pulling up the ebook. Mm -hmm. uh, he searched by title. He clicked on the title, and then we have some links of a couple different places where we, we can actually access the ebook. It's in two Wait. of our databases. Before we go too far, though, I'd like to point this out too: is this page? This is like the catalog record page for this ebook. You can learn a little bit about this book before you ever even open it, because they always give you a description. It varies. Sometimes it's better than others, but I often like to look at this before I dive into something because I just want to get that quick snippet, that paragraph of like, what is this, right? Before I commit to using it, um, you know, so you can learn a little bit about it. And then those those kind of subject words that you were talking about, they list some of them down here, although huh. I don't see negotiation. I would have preferred well, that. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, it's giving us some different information here on the ebook. Yeah. So that's good to know. And the that description is different from the description on the back of here, so... Two things, yeah. Jeff Nelson in the house, Jeff using Libby app in the app. You can use that mainly in the public libraries, but uh, definitely available to check out books for free. But second yeah. of all, just even going to the ebook, we're getting a lot. I don't know the ratio here of book book to ebook, but uh, it's definitely people have opinions and feelings. But Ross, it's already and Nicole, it's already easier to find a little bit more information than flipping through the page and finding the index and the appendix, yeah. just having the e-resource there. So maybe that's a ding one point for an ebook. Back to you. Yeah, somebody yeah. Uh, mentioned that just now in a highlighted comment. Um, so yeah. Um, so, um, yes. Yeah, so go ahead. Um, yeah, pick I like EBSCO, whichever one. And we do, you can download Libby and use it with our overdrive database. Like mm -hmm. I think it goes with overdrive. So you could, we do have some things, but not as much as the public library, but. And Michaela brings up a good point because you can change the font. It's easier to read in an ebook. So if you didn't like the font, which is traditionally Times New Roman 12, maybe that's something different. So I don't know, maybe we're playing a little bit of a game here. What are the bells and whistles of an ebook mm -hmm. versus a book book? Anyway, uh, now we're on an ebook. This is the ebook listing for the tangible yep. book that Nicole is holding that I don't have and I haven't read yep. for tomorrow's librarian reading uh, meeting. I've re I'm reading it. I'm reading it, Jason. I, I no, that's why I'm going to copy yeah. off you for our paid profession job okay. tomorrow. Yeah. So, Ross, are you going to click on that full text link? Well, sure. Yeah. Well, but first, like we were talking about earlier, you can see all of that same information right here. That same description is right here. So before you dive in, you can still get to it here. Their subject is listed as negotiation. here, And then they have some other subject categories. Okay. So I know what I'm getting into. We can get that same stuff down here too. If we wanted to look table at that copyright contents. page, that table of okay. contents is all right oh. here. And dedication, I did want to bring up some of these things. Um, a couple of these items are a little bit, I've maybe oftentimes superfluous or can't really tell us all the information, uh, tell us that much information. But um, I like to look at the dedication because I feel like it tells you, it's usually in the beginning of a book and it is here on this ebook. Uh, it tells you kind of like maybe some insight into the people that wrote the book. Like what's on their, the top of their mind when they think about the meaning of this book. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could help. Could not. Um, also, yeah, yeah. the ahead. dedication is written by the authors. And if you want to know more, more about the authors, there is a page about the authors in the front of this book. Sometimes it's at the back or on the book jacket. 
Um, but here Ross has it pulled up where you can yeah. read about the authors and their credentials, their experience, which could inform you as to if you hold them in high esteem for the topic you're researching, or if that sounds like they would know what they're talking about. We talk about this all the time, vetting authorship and, yeah. and um, authority. And really quick, Ross, the question in the chat, yes, no, have you checked out a book or an ebook from the SSC library? I like the answers of not yet. That's good. What's up, no, no, no is one oh. thing. Jeff says, Wait. why the book? Why book? Because book, Jeff, because. Oh, I get it. Wait, they said book. not yet. That makes my teacher hard to. They're going to use the library in the future. And I like dedications. I thought you were going to give us your radio dedication. And now, the longest <laughs> dedication from Nicole to Ross. Ross in Portland so writes in and says, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we're, we're, we're developing a new show. Oh, we got a good okay. year there. I also had on my little list here, forward, and I put a question mark because I'm like, who wants to read a forward? They're kind of like, they're Ross, what was the reason than... you don't read the four words? Um, the yeah, I, I, I typically don't read them. A lot of times, well, not so much the four words, but it's like a lot of times like in a book when they have a new edition, they'll have an edition statement in there. They'll be like, yeah. in this edition, we, we've added this and that. But I always skip mm. those because I never read the previous edition. So I read them I, backwards. I don't care. <laughs> So that's why I put a question mark. I'm like, eh. I mean, it's there. So uh, uh, you can dig your nose into it if you want. But uh, I don't know. Now, Jeff's a big reader. Jeff, do you ever read the prefaces of the four words? Oh, yes, I do. I do all the time. <laughs> my, my, Jeff, your voice is strange. It sure is. My voice. Okay. <laughs> don't make fun of my voice. <laughs> all right. What else do we got here? All right, here's one thing on the list where we can read the book without reading the book. We can take a look at graphs. Oh, Jeff, yeah, hold images. on. Jeff, Jeff has to say something now. That was that was his obvious clear voice. I always read what? the forward dedication and afterward when I first get a new book. Oh, okay. Ouch! He scolded me. Oh, he scolded you. What about the oh, snow of a book? on me because I'm talking smack about forwards. Okay, many, Jeff, many, all right. Many okay, people yeah. like the smell of a book too, and that you you may get oh. you may get kind of burned, if you will, if it's an old book though, because this one's kind of gnarly. How about in the nasty. chat? Yes or no? Do you like smelling a book? And then yes or no in the chat? How do you smell an ebook? Now that's an old book, so you got must and mold. But like this is a new book, so I'm just smelling ink must on the paper. And mold. It will must. have book mold. must. We'll they should make All a right. book must. All right. All right. Remember, <laughs> folks, we're supposed to be learning here. We're supposed to be teaching. We All right. So getting to yes, we have images. <laughs> You, yeah, it, like you. I'm bookmarked on a table that's definitely going to point out the high points or the the most important points of this like chapter that I read. Okay, there's there's mark there's bookie marks here. Um, there you go, Michaela. So Newton. I could use the tables to narrow in on important things. Then like, oh, okay, this is the main point of this chapter. <laughs> <that kind of thing. laughs> Braden's like, nah, this book smells. I'm not reading this book. Uh -uh, no way. <laughs> Oh, that was a zinga. I don't have the, I don't have a button thing for that. Um, anything else about images, graphs, and tables, guys? What do you think? I would say that sometimes they come in play. So, like for instance, I'm reading the book that I have here in my collection is Oscar Wilde, uh, His Life and Confessions. Now, back in the day, Ooh. they didn't have uh, television cameras, they didn't have anything, and they maybe had like an artist in the courtroom. And so, I would find it fascinating to see like what Oscar Wilde was wearing on the witness stand uh, delivered, but this one doesn't have anything. So I think those would be fun, but I'm not really into like picture books unless it's a picture book, like Stanley Kubrick archives. You can see the pictures that you haven't seen in the movies, the behind the scenes, high glossy, colorful pictures. But other than that, nah, hogs right. up the pages. Then it's hogs a picture book. Pages. Then you can turn to graphic novel. So Ross and the ebook they have pulled up that some of our students already know are familiar with ebooks. They know that you can search to get it to a certain point. We have the list here of all the content. So we've everything that's in here. I'm seeing it in there too. Right. Content, the images, graphs, tables, the chapters. We got the preface mm -hmm. or forward. Chapters. And you can expand those um, menus under each of the chapters, mm -hmm. right? To see yep. those little arrows. Okay. Yeah, so you can drill down really specifically into the chapters instead of just the sections. So yeah, so just reporting from the chat, we do have a lot of book smellers. 
and we have a lot of um, potential cool. ebook sniffers, but they don't know how to scratch and sniff on an ebook. And so you might, you know, uh oh. <laughs> Does anybody know this guy? Scam likely. Scam oh, oh, my friend Scam. Oh, here's a good. That's yeah. SL. That's SL. Here's yeah, a good I evaluation. Know. Here's a good evaluation I, measure. Who in the chat answers know? a scam likely or a prank caller or, or an unknown caller? Answer in the chat. We always get some funny bunny who says, oh, I answer the phone. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> or you could right. answer it on the air. Anyway. Here's another thing in the list. Um, This is like one of my personal faves. And this particular book actually doesn't have a um, typical have index. index that most mm -hmm. books have. It actually has something called a analytical table of contents, which Ross can show us right there. Sure. And I think this analytical table of contents is serving the same purpose, but not in totality. Um, so it's like breaking down smaller points of the like chapters, but your typical index. Oh, we should have had another book. Does your, oh, I do. Jason, does your book have a typical index? Uh, that where it's um, alphabetical by term and subject. It's, it's by content. Oops. Can you see no, it? No, no. In the back. Does it have in an index back? in the back? Yes, it does. Hang oh, on. Oh, okay. I have yeah. an appendix and an index, and I have a hip bone and a liver. <laughs> and a, oh, wait a minute. That was an appendix joke. You better have two kidneys. I have two kidneys. Wait a minute. I don't <laughs> okay. know. No, is, is there an index in the back, though? Because not every book has an index. Yes. It does. Of, it has the okay. index and then it, ha it has the appendix and it has the index. And by the way, I believe going back to what everyone was saying about the forewords on the appendix, um, there is a, the end that's the last word. And then it is alphabetical from last name, Adams, comma, Francis on the index. So yes, this is a, this is a pretty good old school book. The problem that I have with this book going back to the very beginning is, oh, it does say blue ribbon. I don't know. I find the beginning, they must've done the subject heading. That would be a good research for us to find out when they started putting the subject headings in the library of Congress classifications in the front part of the book. That that must have started modern 1980 moving forward. So mm. Braden with the shout out, love the compliments there. Appreciate it. Ahem. <laughs> Other folks can co make compliments too. <laughs> happy Valley. I think we took Braden to happy Valley today. I'm very, yeah. I'm excited about that. Um, so no, the index though, in an index of a book, you basically flip to the usually back of the book. You can search a term, like a keyword, uh, it's, it's alphabetical, so you can search and it'll tell you which page or pages that term has information uh, on which page that book has information about that term. Now, you might want to switch it out, like search uh, one word and then also search a synonym. What does that sound, though? I am getting text messages all the time from people telling me they're book sniffers and they're picture <laughs> lookers and they're index. Cringe even text messages anymore jason it should be snapped okay? jeez all right no i'm that's on thread that's what these youngies are all about is the snap I'm on, i just posted a vine of my threads on my friends <laughs> oh, that, that hurt my cringe okay so but this as we're seeing here we're doing some joking but as as a student you're tasked with finding information. You have a topic. It's way easier, as we've just seen. And we're not pitching you, but it's clear as day. You have the e-resource there. You, Ross, let's search for something in the book of yes. Can we search for a word, yeah. a keyword? I mean, it's this is how we're going to find the information we need to succeed with an efficiency, as opposed to... Oh, I gotta read that because this is yeah. whatever. This is the bad, you know, kind of negative sort of like. I don't want to read a book. I'm That's where we are now. It takes a while and. The thing about all these tools that we're telling you about today, this strategy is to locate the exact point in a book where the information you really need is and read that section or that chapter or those pages. Going back to the index, because I really want to hammer home the index, is that um, you can search different words and it takes you to the exact page. If Ross, did you? Okay, you got that back up because. You yeah, can, um, I'll add it back in. I took awesome, it out on accident. Oh, no, that's cool. Uh, but like right now, why don't you do a quick search and show for those yeah. that maybe haven't seen an ebook how you can search sure. a particular term for that and, whole book. And this would and be the functionality the, of an index. Absolutely. E for sure. Yeah. So getting to yes. I like the way that yeah. font is there. It's because you blew it up, but I like the way yes. it overlaps. Um, oh, pff, I blew it up too big. Yeah, I mean, it'll be different depending on which type of ebook you we, we get them from lots of different publishers and stuff. But usually you'll have a little magnifying glass or a search button or something like that. And it kind of 
does supplant the need to have an index because I mean I could just put in yeah. here um, uh, what's a word I haven't read this book yet. <laughs> um, what? We'll put in the right? Ra- Ross, I'm on page, I'm on page eight tomorrow. of the preface. Um, um, so yeah, like negotiate. I put in the word negotiate. I told me 87 times in this book the word negotiate is mentioned. So I can, I don't even have to look up the page it's on. I can just say, oh, right there, that sounds pretty good. Like, uh, and then it'll tell me exactly what is on that page. It highlighted my word for me. So I, I love ebooks for that purpose. Even if I, I did agree. prefer reading, like they just make research a million times easier. I agree. I. I just picture Ross like running on a beach to that song. <laughs> do, 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 do. Like a slow run. Yeah, um, yeah, for breeze. sure. And so we put in the chat there, give us a, you know, when you're looking at the databases, you're looking at the e-resources, what are some of the tools that you can use? Once again, we are not getting away from this. This is the book. We are librarians. But as we're seeing mm-hmm. now in 2023, uh, this is a little more helpful and useful, uh, especially when I have three or four other classes and three or four other assignments, the title page, all that stuff to preference. Ther- okay, so that they're saying- <laughs> Covered so, everything. And third? Yeah, uh, they have two prefaces. Prefaces? Oh. Um, uh, uh, you're a professionado. Well, remember, it's been it, the first was in 1981, so like I guess a lot would change since then. I was kind of a while ago. Not the, preface, oh, yeah, the you're gonna... first edition. <laughs> And then the analytical table, of this is good. This has the whole entire thing. So some of the answers, so uh, can you name, we'll put it in the chat there. Can you name some of the tools found in the eBooks uh, or databases, i.e. like a site <laughs> button? So let's take a look here and let's see. Last time I did something like this, look at my car, how to figure out. Oh, legit, mm. legit. And I have like the back windshield and the front windshield and mm-hmm. sometimes they're not on the same page. And sometimes I'm doing this and the car next to me is honking and I'm like, no, I'm doing, anyway, that's how I drive. Wow. Highlighters. Highlighters are very good. You could use those in many databases. Opposing viewpoints has mm-hmm. highlighters. You can buy. Sometimes you have to make an account like in that database to save stuff like that. Maybe I think that maybe that's up. maybe why Braden, why you haven't used them yet. I'm just guessing because mm-hmm. some of the, you know what I mean? It, so you can save your actual stuff. Uh, look at this. We've yeah. made what? a connection here. We realized what? that we're Kayla's McKinney what? from Jeff Nelson's class and I'm the librarian <laughs> and we're all... This is such a wow. This is Happy Valley. We By the way, Michaela, Valley. why didn't you realize that earlier? Just say. <laughs> like, I don't know why you just realized it. Ricardo, I use Control F and then type the word of the yeah. page before. Correct. However, you would have to have all the pages loaded up on this entire key book in order for it to find that mm-hmm. uh, word first. So keep that in mind as well. What else? Do okay. We got here, but that works for like a single page for sure. For sure. I use that for articles all the time. I just Control F everything. So we're getting yeah. the highlighters here. Is are people in the in the chat? Yes or no? Are you more of a visual? You like to highlight everything because Nicole. Can you show your book again? You have little different colored um, oh, yeah. parts and stuff. And, you know, we <laughs> have marginalia in academia you gotta, where you write in the... Oh, yeah, we have the library. library. Yeah, we'll hand that out for you, for sure. If you come to the library, you can get these little thing things. <laughs> that sounded so desperate. If you please come to the library, <laughs> we'll give you a little tiny little book. We'll give you a little baby book. It's a baby. These things are very popular. <laughs> we'll give a baby book. You come to the library. <laughs> Ross is just like, baby what did I sign up for? Sorry, Jeff, you're being blocked. Okay. All right, that's over. That's I'm done I mean, with that. Ross, that you're being cringe. blocked. Oh, where'd we? Ooh. What is this? What? Whoa! What? Sp- what? What? Oh. <laughs> what just happened? We're freaking <laughs> out. We're having a freak out. All right, let's get back to okay. Uh, no, but this ah! is good advice. Oh. <laughs> okay, I would use highlighter in my ebooks on my tablet, and you can open a notes page, shows your highlights. I use this page for my discussion posts and citations. All right, so get in on that because that's excellent advice from Jeff. There you go, Braden. Ooh. True, true. Keep in mind, we're talking a lot about highlighters, and we were, you can check out library books here for free. Don't highlight our books, yeah, please. Yeah. Don't highlight our books, please. Come to the library, we'll give you a little book with the. Now it's getting scary. <laughs> Come to the library and get a little book. Right? Remember, okay, so I, I, I think we've kind of have we covered everything. I think we've just I think we've read this book without reading the book, and now I can go to the meeting yeah. and I'll be like, oh, let's. How do we cite it, Ross? How do we cite this book? Because Nicole, you're gonna have to find the author, the date of publication. You're gonna have to find the publisher. But Ross, it should be pretty easy if you pop that back up, and I'll mm-hmm. help you. Uh, you should be able to share that screen. Uh, basically, yeah, no, basically, that's okay. We'll just never do <laughs> wow. it. Basically, everything. No, you can't. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, oh wow. now I can. It's all, it's all glitched. There we go. Yeah, right. there we go. Oh, okay. this is us, students. So take a look, everyone. The ebooks, all the databases, everything on the right hand side, the right hand side, the right, not the left, the right hand side of your toolbar. It was intense. That was it. That's the site. Sorry, 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 sorry. And then you remember, Ross, you just grab the first one you see, right? It doesn't matter yep. what the format is for your what, class. Whatever it's national that, standards. Everybody right? uses ABNT. LOL. Yeah. No way. There's I've never ABA. used that in my entire life. I'm 90 years old. There's MLA. MLA. There's Chicago, I saw. Great. It does it all. Very it cool. does it all. And let's just... I think this is a home run today, guys. Guys, this has been this our has best been a home show run. ever. We have another show next week. We'll mm -hmm. say the same thing. Nicole won't be here next week because she'll be climbing Mount Everest. Yeah, that's right. Uh, wait, what happened? Hey. Did I, hey. I thought you were. I thought it was happening. I thought it was happening. Jeff Nelson I, loves. I don't know. I don't style. know. Hold on. Jeff has a joke. He says Chicago style oh. citations are deep dish. Where's the cringe? Where's the cringe woman? <coughs> cringe. Chicago has deep dish pizza, so Jeff. Ouch! And by the way, it takes Jeff Nelson 45 minutes to realize his students in his class. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> saying. Oh, oh. Petty Valley. <sighs> oh, Jason, but don't stay there too long. You know. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. Okay, oh. what? Oh. All right, that was fun. Oh, um, credit, credit, credit. Oh, yeah, credit. we got to give you credit. So let's go back in the chat. And uh, if you made an RSVP, I can go ahead and uh, get your information. But otherwise... Um, but if you didn't and you yeah. need credit, you can text us. But like Jason's in Raider Connect right now. So if you RSVP'd, yeah. he's going to check off your name. Okay, yeah. but if... Yeah, you can text us if uh, that's yeah, not me, that situation. I'll get the doesn't. link in two seconds. Okay. You need to, you need to vamp a little bit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Get rid of this so you can see the full screen of the vamping. There you go. All right. It's going to be about 20 more minutes for that vamping. Okay. Right there. Oh, no. I'll tell you what. I know what to sell. I know how to sell us. This is the library. This is our email address, not website. We have appointments. You can meet with us in person, online, whatever your preference. Mm -hmm. But if you want to set something up, you can go to this little uh, URL right there. Um, you can also chat 24-7, 24 hours a day. All of these services are linked off of our library homepage, which is this link. Or if you literally Google Seminole State Library, that will be the first Google result. And you can access things like uh, research help, and that will bring it and chat pops up everywhere. And anytime mm -hmm. you're on a library's uh, website or page, our chat will pop up and we are there and happy to help you. That's what we're here for to help you. All right, okay. let's give a roll um, call no here. Stupid Dana. Questions. No Just stupid questions. No, no stupid questions. No, if there's any stupid I mean, questions, there, we're there the ones no asking such them. thing as a stupid question. There aren't such. Wait a minute. Uh, Braden, we got you. Do you have Braden. to eat too. Raccoons Where's the banner? I didn't know. Banner or it didn't happen. Braden, we got oh. you. Um, let's see, Braden, uh, Dana, we got you. No. Elijah, we got you on the Renee and the mm -hmm. Elijah. You're good. Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, Alana, mm -hmm. got you. Anyone else? Just go ahead and click that link twice, uh, once, and you should be good to go. You can click it twice if you want to, but nothing's going to happen. Anyone else need FYE credit for your first experience class in the IDS 1107 course? Speak up now or forever hold your peace. We have one more week of uh, these classes and these, uh, these. Uh, uh, somebody's at my window peeking in here of the video. There oh, yeah. <laughs> we all have three different send videos. Send the lion out we'll there. Look. Yeah, send the Boy, lion out don't there. Don't take care of that. Yeah, okay. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. We have an outro video. Bye. Bye. E e e e e e e e e e e am I doing the outro video? No, I, of course you are. I set the <laughs> <laughs> Where's the outro video? We're professionals.